Hi, everyone, and welcome to this session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 2 CK Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology and here today to get you that higher score come test day. If you're ready, let's jump right into it. So this patient, we got a 70 year old woman presents to her PCP as in you, you're the doctor. What does she present with? Diarrhea, describes the diarrhea, how this should stand out to you. Is it watery? Is it bloody? Tell me about the stool. She describes it just as watery associated with some abdominal cramping for how long? One week, last week. There's been no fever, that should be really big, nausea or vomiting. She was hospitalized though one month ago, that should jump out to you, okay? Because anytime we have a recent hospitalization discharge, you gotta think, is it something that happened to the hospital that's causing this? Why was she at the hospital for CAP, community acquired pneumonia? She was treated with ceph and azithromycin, typical regimen we would expect for CAP. She also has a history of watery diarrhea with abdominal cramps when she consumes milk products. Ah, oh, well, that's another one the test makers just threw at you there. So she's got this history of watery diarrhea when she consumes milk products. You should be thinking, oh, like lactose intolerance, right? But again, what's different here is this is taking place within the time span of one month from her hospitalization, okay? Could it be due to the same thing? Sure, okay, but you are there on test day, critical thinking, picking what you think it's best likely due to. Physical exam reveals lower abdominal tenderness. The initial lab eval of the stool, significant for what? Fecal leukocytes, that's big, taking that away. You're gonna be there in the ward doing this. You're gonna see those fecal leukocytes. It's gonna help you with your differential. Which of the following is the most useful step in diagnosing this patient? So what are we gonna do here? What are you gonna do? You're gonna tell her just avoid milk products. You're gonna do a colonoscopy with biopsy on this patient. Take a C. diff cytotoxic assay of the stool. Give her a trial of loperamide or a trial of metronidazole. Take a few moments and select what you think is the best answer. Okay, great. Correct answer here, choice C. You're gonna do that cytotoxic assay for C. diff of the stool. So you should have recognized this. This is C. diff associated diarrhea that we have going on here. How does this patient present? Loose, watery stools, notice, no blood, okay, plus some fecal leukocytosis, got some cramping going on, but specifically, it's the time frame within a, within a few weeks, a month in this question, after having received a course of antibiotics. She was in the hospital for CAP, got some ceph, got some azithromycin, might have helped with the CAP, but what else did it do? It led to C. diff associated diarrhea. How do we diagnose this patient? This is your patient comes to see you. You take a, some stool, okay? You do a cytotoxin tissue culture assay of it. Does it show the toxin of C. diff? If so, you diagnosed it right there. What are we gonna do for this patient? You can't just send her home, she's suffering here. What you're gonna do is one, stop the offending antibiotic, which for her, she's done with her course of treatment. Then you're gonna initiate metronidazole. That's our primary treatment for dealing with C. diff associated diarrhea. But if that doesn't work, if you've given her a few courses of that and she's still dealing with this, next step, vancomycin. So again, big thing. How do patients present? How do you diagnose it? How do you treat it? Gold standard, next standard down the line. Big takeaways. Recap from this question. When we got C. diff colitis, presenting with watery diarrhea, abdominal cramps, some recent antibiotic use, and some fecal leukocytes, first thing to do to diagnose it, get a stool assay for cytotoxins, for that C. diff cytotoxin. When that comes back positive, initiate metronidazole, and if metronidazole doesn't work after a few trials, you're gonna give vancomycin. That's how you're gonna treat this patient and hundreds of patients that you're gonna see in your career that have C. diff. Big takeaway from this question, knowing about C. diff. What is it? How do you diagnose it? How do you treat it? Great job today on getting that higher score come test day. I'll see you guys next time for Kaplan's USMLE Step 2 CKQ Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. Thanks for joining me today.